Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how you can layer your colors with chameleon pens. Now, I've showed you before how to use the um, uh, chamber and make sure that you use your blending solution with the blending solution chamber so that they uh, make it lighter, etc. Well, now I'm just going to show you how to use two different markers put together and then you get a different color. It's very simple. It's almost like using paint when you would like layer one color on top of the other if you're doing like a landscape or something. But at any rate, that's what we're doing today. So we are going to use our chameleon pens and we are going to be using our stamp set here which is called Petals For You. It's a great set. It says For You. It says Thank You. It says Thinking Of You and Celebrate. And you can fit all these cute little um, circles inside of your creation and it works out really well. Um, and you can of course color these awesome uh, flowers in and the leaves etc etc. Or you can make a shadow if you wish. Alright, so we're going to be giving this away this week and we're going to be using our black memento pen, I'm sorry, pad, ink pad, it's tuxedo black, and then of course our block. So, let's get started. We're going to be specifically using our NU1 and our PK3. Okay, so we'll be using these and we're going to start off by stamping our flower. I'm pulling out my own personal set, so that's what we're going to be doing here. And we're going to just take this big flower, we're going to place it right on here, okay, and then we're going to open up our ink and we're going to ink our image. And I'm going to make a few of these so I can show you uh, different ways to um, show different coloring. Okay. So this is just a tutorial for today. We're not making a project. Just showing you how to use your chameleon pens or markers if I decide to call them that today because sometimes I do both. Chameleon pens, chameleon markers, chameleon, chameleon. I'll make one more just in case I need it while I have it out, right? Okay, so we'll put this aside, close up our ink, and we are set over here. So we don't need our ink anymore. All we need is our chameleon pens. So I'm going to start off with the PK3. It's a pretty bright color, okay? Um, you can actually, I'm going to also take out the NU3. It's also a good color to add if you want to make it a little bit lighter or just a little bit different. It's almost like adding a little cool color or a little warm color to your colors just to give a different look of your color, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the PK3 and we're just going to make some real quick coloring right here. And it's kind of like a flick. as you can see, and I'm slowly filling it in as I move up. Okay, I'm going to do a few of these because I want to give you an example of what, and I'm not being uh, very good in the lines it's, and stuff, I just want to show you that this is how I color it in, like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you a close-up so you can see the difference. All right, so we have this one and we have this one, okay? They're all the same color, it's PK3, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this up and I'm going to take out the NU1. It kinda has a little bit like of an orangey color and it's um, good for skin tones and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can just add this color to your PK3 and you get a totally different color. It's like a peachy pink and it's really cute, especially if you have things to make for girls. I really like the way it came out. And I'll show you a close up. Again, we're just flicking here. Just showing you how to make a different color, okay? So now I wanna show you how that looks different. So you can see a close up. Just by adding that little color, you almost get like a peachy pink look. I really like it. I think it looks cool. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this side over here. 
and I'm going to color it with a PK3. And I'm going to add the NU3, which will make it a little bit darker. Okay, so we'll do this real quick. Now again, if you want to highlight something, you can use your um, blending solution chamber. I'm just showing you that not only can you use them, uh, use the chameleon pens uh, with the blending solution, you can also use them without. And these are forever pens. The forever pen means that you can change out the nibs, you can change out the ink, meaning you can put new ink in it, they can be refilled. Um, you can even buy blank ones and uh, fill those up so that you can utilize um, different colors. You may want to put a certain kind of color together and do it that way. Like if you have a business or something that you have a certain color that you like to use, then that would be a good suggestion is to get a blank pen and do that. Okay, so we're going to close that up. And we're going to use the NU3. And we're just going to show you how it looks when we use the same flicking motion and how much darker it looks. It's a little bit more brown, as you can see. Almost, it's got like a flavor of magenta. I really like the way it looks though. Almost a copper. It's interesting, it's kind of changing colors. Of course, it does depend on how much you use. The more you saturate it, the more it will change. So we'll do this. And I'm going to show you here, that's how it looks. Now you want to make sure that you protect your work surface anytime you're coloring with these pens because oftentimes they will bleed through, okay? Um, if you just do a thin layer or you're just doing a little bit of coloring, it won't bleed through. But if you're using layers of coloring, it's definitely important for you to use a protected work surface. This is a protected work surface. I can clean this off. It, it's not real wood. It's a laminate, so we're, we're set here, okay? So now I'm going to show you the NU3 right next to that and show you the difference on either side, okay? And it's really quite a difference. It's just a few shades darker, the NU3 is, and it does make quite a difference in color. I think, anyway. I think it looks more like a copper. I really like it. You know, sometimes you try things out and you find them out by accident. I think this is one of those things. It looks kind of like a copper to me or like a, 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 a slight tint of copper. So that's what we have right here. So that's how you could just add one color to another and you can layer them. These markers are very, very versatile. There's a lot of things you can do with them. And to be honest with you, um, they are my go-to. Um, you can, they're, um, there's so many different colors you can make with them and I really, really, really like them. Um, if you get the 22 pack, it's a 22 pens, um, 20 colors, one blending, pen and one fine line uh, pen, which is black. Um, it's a great set. We actually have a sale on them right now uh, for $79.99. They ship uh, free priority shipping within the US. Um, if you are out of the country, please contact me and I will definitely try to, to help you out. Um, the only concern is that the weight. That tends to, of course, as you know, if you live internationally, you know, if you live outside of the U.S., you know how much shipping can be. So I'll be happy to work with you and see what I can do. Um, but this, um, I only have a few sets of these left. So if you are interested, make sure you jump on it and check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. And make sure that you are a subscriber so that you can win this set for next Monday, we'll be announcing that, okay? Because I'm sure you're going to want to play with this if you have chameleon pens. And if you don't have chameleon pens, maybe you should buy some. Hint, hint. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us. And be sure to subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel. And we hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Bye-bye.